This is Rev. Michelle Hopkins. All night long, I languished. My body trembled from the top of my head to the bottom of my toes. All night long, I languished. My skin crawled and it itched and it stung like I was being bitten. All night long, the anxiety in my body was so high because the electricity was just out of control. All night long, our entire area was chemtrailed getting ready for this storm and this rain. All night long, this is what they did to us. All night long, TTAs undulated our skies with infrasonic undulation, with higher sonic undulation, with microwave undulation, all night long. All night long, every part of my body ached. My hands hurt so much I could hardly close them. My head was aching so much I couldn't sleep. Everything hurt. My heart was pounding in my chest. My entire body quivering and shaking and vibrating with every single undulation. Do you see all of this undulation here? This is what they've been doing to us. Do you have any idea what happens to the physical body when infrasonic undulation is introduced? It takes two hours from just five minutes of infrasonic undulation hitting an area for the physical body to recover. And all night long, this was going on. From the time I woke this morning, my sinuses have been so terrible, no amount of r relieving their, uh, what was flowing out of them would stop the flow. The sneezing, all there's coughing from chest congestion. All night long, they've been doing this to us. My boyfriend went outside and saw the sky, and he said, you've got to see this, you won't believe this, this is what they're doing to us. He went outside and began to take pictures of our skies. They're still chemtrailing us, getting ready for this storm to hit us really hard with this storm. And it's not just merely chemtrail. I don't know if you can see it, but look at all the pink in here. If there's pink in it, there are chemicals in it that are absolutely deadly. Look at all the chem dross in it. This is not the worst picture, folks. This is not the worst. Wait till you see. Look at this. This is what sonic undulation looks like quite often. This is how violently they're doing it. This was the first picture that was taken. Now watch, first of all, look at all the chem dross falling and getting ready to fall. This is the the wave. That's the wavelength. This is not infras. It's very possible we may be hearing strange sounds today because this is higher length than infrasound. Some more pink in this area. And look at, they're still laying down the chemtrails. He's still the undulation going through. Now these are infrasound. Look at this. Filthy, nasty, vile chemtrail skies. This is a chem franken sky. Look at all the chem dross. That stuff that is left over after it's been undulated and the moisture is taken out of it. This is the dirty filth that's left over and eventually falls out of the sky. This undulation 
these are the uh, Undulatus Asperatus that we're being told that's the new name of these new clouds that have no species, no genus, and here's all the pink. Whenever I see pink in clouds like that, my first gut reaction is, okay, this has biologicals in it, more than likely human desiccated blood. Desiccated human red blood cells. And here again, look at all the chem dross. More undulation. These clouds have been undulated for a while since they've been laid down. More pink. More pink. more undulation more chemtrails more undulation look at the just roly-poly roly-poly undulatus aspiratus meaning undulated breathing vapors Look at this. This is just a couple minutes. This is how the sky changed in just a couple minutes of undulation after these chemtrails were laid down. Look at that. How widespread the undulation is and it just keeps going and going and the sky gets darker and darker and still the pink in the sky. Look at this pink in the sky. They're raining down blood on us folks. Tainted blood cells that they have engineered to make us ill yet again. This is about the fourth time this year since August that they have rained down disease on us. Look at all this pink. Look at all of it. They're getting ready to make us sick all over again. And I've been really ill even before the rain has come. Look at all this undulation. Look at all this pink these bloody skies about to rain down on us and I'm already sick look at this look at all the red look at all the undulation and it just goes on and on as time goes on and these pictures are taken just moments after moments this is how it changes the sky is changing violently quickly with all the undulation now my boyfriend has something he'd like to share with you. Hey, this is 31 December 2012, the last day of the year, and I'm in Franklin, Virginia. Just look at the undulation in this sky. It is just utterly horrid. Look at that. And further around to the back, if it's still there, I'm going to show you the sweeping formations in the sky. Let's see what we've got here. Now I have some pictures that we'll post along with this, that we'll include in this video that show you some strange looks at the sky. Tendrils of chemical falling and being swept along. But you can see some of that here. Look at this. Look at how it's sweeping. Look. A lot of it has changed. Just look at this sky. This is horrendous. No wonder Michelle's been feeling so bad. They have really, really inundated this area. Look at that. We're going to post this video along with some photos that we've taken. Incredible. 
Incredible. Right there. And these are our skies now. Do you see this huge patch of green with tentacles coming out of it, gray tentacles coming out of it, this huge patch of green. Can you see it? And look at all this undulation hitting it. What kind of chemicals are they getting ready to rain on us tonight? And this, they're working out possibly tornadic activity, a lot more red, possible blood coming down on us. This looks like the freaking passage of death Nibiru coming at us. Look at this. This is just horrid. Absolutely diabolical. This is Rev. Michelle Hopkins. Thank you for watching everyone, and God bless you.